Material properties of parts now support new material types such as melamine faced boards, solid, plywood and glass. Also, construction sets can now be assigned directly in the object info palette. Prior to version 2020, coverings had to be simulated by adding a space to the finishing input field in order to assign a texture. Choosing a legacy construction set and editing it by clicking the construction button will trigger a warning about the space and texture in the finishing entry field. This workaround has become obsolete as laminated boards are now fully supported. I'll go ahead and delete the space. Let's check out the database of core materials. At first glance, you might notice that the list is filterable now and there are seven types of materials. So what are these new material types and how are they relevant to the part construction? If I choose a melamine faced material, the thickness of the covering is displayed. For this material type, the covering cannot be changed here as it is an integral part of the board. Its thickness was set to 0.1 mm in master data. Whatever the thickness may be, it will never change the overall thickness of a melamine faced board. The total thickness of the material is now governed by the given thickness of the material and cannot be changed through the object info palette. If I now choose 18mm chipboard, I can assign a covering whose thickness will be added on to the board's thickness. There are two more general types of material, that's solid woods, which include plywood, laminated wood, solid wood and the third type, glass. If I choose one of the solid materials, the thickness is also preset, but I will be allowed to change it later in the object info palette. Let's check out the master data to find out how materials are configured in order to know about their properties. If I choose a melamine faced board or a veneered board, the material type changes in the type pop-up menu. These are the seven material types that provide the filters for the construction dialog. For melamine faced or veneered boards, this is where you set the thickness and the rendering texture for the covering or veneer. Glass or solid woods cannot have a covering. The new material system allows you to configure any material for Interior CAD's production realism without the need for workarounds.